yesterday when I was dehydrating the cabbage on my new dehydrator, I noticed that the holes that are in here are just a little bit too big for that type of um, dehydrated item. So I went to the store and I bought this Daris Canvas Designer Plastic Canvas. There's six pieces in this and it's 10 by 5 inches or 10.5 inches by 13.5 inches. Um, so what I plan on doing is I plan on making covers or inserts to go on the bottom of this, which will make these the holes in it a lot smaller. I don't know if you can see through this plastic, but they're a lot smaller. So that will help with um, stuff like that. Now, the cabbage was so small that it did fall through, but it collected in the bottom and I was able to get it back out. But in order, going forward in the future, in order to avoid that, I'm going to make these inserts so that things will stay on the trays. The other thing that sometimes that you'll want to have when you're dehydrating is you'll want to have a solid surface. Like say you want to make fruit leathers or maybe dehydrate some tomato sauce. These right here, I got at the dollar store and there's two of these in here. And they're 11 by 14 inches and they're just the chopping mats. So what I'm gonna do, um, I won't be able to cover all my trays, but a lot of times you don't need all your trays. So what I plan on doing is I plan, there's six pieces in here. So I'll be able to do one for each one of my trays. And then I'll be able to, do, to cover two of the trays with this, um, solid piece so that I can do fruit leathers or like I said tomato sauce or anything like that. So that's what I plan on working on today. Okay so besides these two items that I bought, um, by the way this was a dollar because I got it from the dollar tree and then this was uh, I think it was $2.97 so and I got this at Walmart so that's not too bad. But along with that you're also going to need a marker of some sort and some scissors. So that's the items that I'm going to be using. And so let me show you how I'm going to do this. So the first thing we got to do, let's hopefully this will cut easy. Now let me show you, see how the holes are a lot smaller than the holes that are in this. So this will sit over this and then the food will sit on the tray, this insert that I'm going to make for the tray. All right, let's see how. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace along the outside of the tray. So that I can get the size that I need. And this first one doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to try to get it as close as you can. So now I've got a rough outline, and I'm going to try to follow this outline so that we can get, it's hard to see this stuff. And I'm just going to cut along here, and try to stay as close to the line as I can. I mean, if it's not perfect, that's fine. Tell you right now, this is not going to be perfect. So I can just barely see this line. It's 
probably better to have it a little bit bigger because then you can always trim it off. So there's my rough out now. That's not too bad. See? Not too bad. But what we do want to do is we want to try to cut out this hole in the middle so that we can get this to fit a little bit better. Try to trace around that hole. Like I said, this doesn't need to be perfect because the air will still get through. I want to try to get it as close to the edges as I can. All right, so now, yeah, I could see that a little bit better. So now we just need to cut this hole out. So we can get this to sit down into the tray. Hopefully you guys can hear me because I've been having problems with my audio. So I'm hoping yeah, we're getting there. A little bit more. And once we get one made, we can use this as the template. So the next ones will go much quicker. But I did want to show you how you get to that point. All right, so that sounds looking pretty darn good. So, like a square going on there, but that's all right. Yep. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now we'll just trim a little bit of that away. Now this tray is a little unusual because it has these legs that stand up, so I'm going to have to cut it across here, but as you notice, there's not very many holes up there, so it's not going to matter if it's not exactly fitting in there. So let's get this center lined up. We still need to do a little bit more on this side. All right, so I'm going to make my corners kind of square. so that it will go around those legs. Okay. Those two sides are fitting pretty well. This will fit. So I'm going to work at getting this right and I'll bring you back because I'm sure you, you don't want to sit here and watch this whole thing. Okay so I've got the first one done so I can use this as a template but let me show you it fits right in here now. So 
just stick it right in there and then see how it makes the holes a lot smaller so I'll be able to put like carrots and peas and stuff that really get small and cabbage if I want to do more cabbage so that's how you make your inserts for your dehydrator I'm going to finish up and do um, five of this type and then I'll do two of the solid ones and yeah so that's how you would make an insert for your dehydrator okay guys as you can see I'm all done I've got one two three four five of these with the tiny holes through them and they fit right into here and then I made two of these now I will say on this type of material you have to be really careful because I accidentally did slit it over here but I think that should be fine um, but on the second one I got smarter and I did it better so but these also fit right in here too so now my dehydrator is ready to take on whatever I want to dehydrate thanks a lot for watching